Introduction. Welcome to our deep dive into Pentecost, one of the most significant events in Christian history. This momentous occasion is celebrated 50 days after Easter and commemorates the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles and other followers of Jesus Christ. Often referred to as the birthday of the church, Pentecost marks the beginning of the apostles' mission to spread the teachings of Jesus to all nations. In this comprehensive video, we will explore the origins, significance, and enduring impact of Pentecost. From its roots in Jewish tradition to its profound theological implications, join us as we uncover the rich tapestry of Pentecost. Part 1. The Events Leading Up to Pentecost After Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection, he spent 40 days with his disciples teaching and preparing them for the mission ahead. He instructed them to wait in Jerusalem for the promise of the Father, which was the Holy Spirit. In Acts 1.8, Jesus told them, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. The apostles and other followers of Jesus, numbering about 120, gathered in an upper room in Jerusalem. They devoted themselves to prayer and waited expectantly for the fulfillment of Jesus' promise. Part 2. The Day of Pentecost On the Day of Pentecost, something extraordinary happened. The Holy Spirit descended upon the apostles and other followers of Jesus, as described in Acts 2, 1-4. When the Day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. This miraculous event drew a crowd of people who were in Jerusalem for the festival. They were bewildered because each one heard the apostles speaking in their own language. This was a powerful sign that God's message was for all people regardless of language or nationality. Part 3 Peter's Sermon and the Birth of the Church Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, stood up and addressed the crowd. He explained that what they were witnessing was the fulfillment of the prophecy in Joel 3 where God promised to pour out His Spirit on all people. Peter proclaimed the good news of Jesus' life, death and resurrection and called the people to repentance and baptism in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of their sins. Peter's sermon had a profound impact. Acts 2.41 tells us that about 3,000 people were added to their number that day. This marked the birth of the church as these new believers formed a community devoted to the apostles' teaching, fellowship, breaking of bread and prayer. Part 4. Theological Significance of Pentecost Pentecost is rich with theological significance. It marks the fulfillment of Jesus' promise to send the Holy Spirit who would empower the disciples for their mission. The Holy Spirit's descent signifies the beginning of a new era in God's plan of salvation, where the presence of God would dwell within His people. The gift of tongues at Pentecost symbolizes the universal nature of the Gospel. The message of Jesus is not confined to a single culture or language but is intended for all nations. Pentecost is a powerful reminder that the Church is called to be a witness to the ends of the earth. Part 5. The Role of the Holy Spirit The Holy Spirit plays a crucial role in the life of a believer and the Church. In John 14, 16, 17, Jesus described the Holy Spirit as the Spirit of Truth that will stay. With the disciples, the Holy Spirit convicts the world of sin, righteousness and judgment. John 16, 8 guides believers into all truth. John 16, 13 and empowers them to live out their faith. The Holy Spirit also bestows spiritual gifts on believers, as described in 1 Corinthians 12. These gifts are given for the common good and to build up the body of Christ. The fruits of the Spirit listed in Galatians 5.22-23 are evidence of the Spirit's work in a believer's life. Part 6. Pentecost in Church History Pentecost has been celebrated by Christians throughout history as one of the major feasts of the liturgical calendar. Early Christians viewed Pentecost as the fulfillment of Jesus' promise and the beginning of the Church's mission. The day was marked by baptisms, confirmations, and the renewal of the Church's commitment to its mission. In the medieval period, Pentecost was celebrated with elaborate liturgies, including the reading of the Acts 2 account, the singing of hymns, and the lighting of candles to symbolize the tongues of fire. 
The feast was also associated with the confirmation of new believers and the ordination of clergy. During the Reformation, Pentecost continued to be celebrated, though some of the elaborate traditions were simplified. The focus remained on the Holy Spirit's role in empowering the Church for its mission. Part 7. Pentecost and Modern Christianity Today, Pentecost is celebrated by Christians around the world in various ways. In many traditions, the day is marked by special services, prayers, and the singing of Christian songs. It is a time to reflect on the gift of the Holy Spirit and the Church's mission to spread the Gospel. Pentecostal and charismatic movements, which emphasize the work of the Holy Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit, trace their roots back to the events of Pentecost. These movements have had a profound impact on modern Christianity, bringing a renewed emphasis on the power and presence of the Holy Spirit in the life of the believer and the Church. Part 8. The Impact of Pentecost The impact of Pentecost is immeasurable. It transformed a group of fearful disciples into bold witnesses for Christ. Empowered by the Holy Spirit, they took the message of Jesus to the ends of the earth, establishing communities of believers wherever they went. Pentecost reminds us that the Church's mission is not carried out in our own strength, but through the power of the Holy Spirit. It challenges us to be open to the Spirit's leading and to be bold in our witness for Christ. The story of Pentecost is also a story of unity. The Holy Spirit broke down barriers of language and culture, bringing people from diverse backgrounds into a new community of faith. This unity and diversity is a powerful witness to the world of God's reconciling work in Christ. Part 9 – Pentecost and Personal Transformation Pentecost is not just a historical event, it is a present reality that has the power to transform our lives. The same Holy Spirit who descended on the Apostles is available to us today. The Spirit empowers us to live out our faith, to overcome sin, and to bear witness to the Gospel. Personal transformation begins with an openness to the work of the Holy Spirit. It involves surrendering our lives to God, allowing the Spirit to lead and guide us. It means being willing to step out in faith, trusting that God will empower us for the mission He has given us. The fruits of the Spirit – love, joy, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control are evidence of the Spirit's transforming work in our lives. As we grow in these virtues, we become more like Christ and more effective in our witness to the world. Conclusion Pentecost is a pivotal event in the history of the Church. It marks the fulfillment of Jesus' promise to send the Holy Spirit and the beginning of the Church's mission to the world. The events of Pentecost remind us of the power and presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives and the Church. As we celebrate Pentecost, let us be open to the Spirit's work in our lives. Let us seek to be empowered for the mission God has given us, and let us strive for unity in the body of Christ. May the story of Pentecost inspire us to be bold witnesses for Christ, taking the message of Jesus to the ends of the earth. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the rich history and profound significance of Pentecost. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe for more in-depth explorations of important events in Christian history. Until next time, may the peace and power of the Holy Spirit be with you.